The Global Wind Energy Report, which is out today, showcases just how far the industry has come. We're now at 35 gigawatts globally. Uh, that's way more than 10 times what we had 10 years ago. Fari 100 companies now exceeds, together now exceeds 300 terawatt hours per year. That's bigger than the demand of the UK. And it's fantastic to see this growth of offshore wind uh, capacity that will meet the demand of businesses, will meet the demand of, of homes and industry in the years to come. What I'm holding today is an absolutely seminal report on the road to COP and really it provides a clarion call for governments and industry around the world that we really need to step up the deployment of offshore wind. The UK is at the forefront and we're proud to be the global leaders in offshore wind. However, there's so much more to do. We have got a target 40 gigawatts in 2030 and any reasonable analysis shows 100 gigawatts or more by 2050. We've only this thus far installed 2% of the offshore wind that we will need to meet net zero. Even at our best estimates, we're only going to install 11%. So we've got a long way to go and we all now really need to get serious about the opportunity that's in front of us and remove those barriers to the deployment of offshore wind. Outlook through to 2030, where we're expecting 270 gigawatts, so that's eight times the growth. And beyond that, we're expecting even further growth. This is the decade when offshore wind really comes of age.